I'm interested in human motivation. And there is a theory of human motivation which is universal. It is true for all human beings, whatever their gender, their, their culture, their sex, uh, their age. Um, and that's what motivates us as human beings. And so we know that we're motivated by at least three things. We're motivated by our need to be autonomous, um, our need to belong and to relate to a mission that's greater than ourselves, and our need to feel competence that we're capable of contributing. And that's precisely what motivates volunteers in all countries. They want to make a difference as leaders, and they want to be uh, not told what to do, but to be able to take the initiative and feel that they're contributing something, um, that they're fully self-determined in a way. Um, they also need to belong to the Red Cross because the Red Cross is more than just a family. It's really a global movement and a national institution. And so they wear their um, emblem with, with pride. Um, it gives them status in a way. Um, so by being a volunteer for the Red Cross, and I'm sure that's true for the Spanish Red Cross too, also. They're part of a family, they're part of an institution, they're part of a branch, they're part of a team, but they're also part of society. They're showing they're contributing to their community. Um, and then competence is a reason why volunteers should want to come because they're learning leadership by being a volunteer. They're learning the different skills of what it is to be you know, a good human being. So basically that's what really interests me. It's those universals about humanity, which is our fundamental principle, and when you look at humanity, um, the emotion behind it is compassion. So it's a school of compassion. And when I'm here um, in Spain, I feel the compassion. So that's also a source of inspiration. So for the whole movement, I must say it's, it's just enormous. Uh, we have 15 million volunteers and everyone is unique. They live so many different um, experiences that it's really hard to fathom the richness of the movement in terms of personal experience. Um, for the Spanish Red Cross, I would like to know more and have more contacts with the Spanish Red Cross, but I do know that the Spanish Red Cross has an incredible reputation um, about how they can inspire volunteers and about the, the thriving, vibrant community of volunteers that it has uh, nurtured. Um, and it is, the Spanish Red Cross is really positioned as one of the great leading national societies in terms of volunteering. And so in that sense, the Spanish Red Cross is incredibly precious for the whole movement. And this is just one example that we're here and it's a true source of inspiration. And people are really, they really want to come to the VLP. The VLP program is actually incredibly um, well followed um, all around the world. So this is, um, I would not want people to underestimate the impact and the importance that this initiative has at a, at a global level.